And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Nasus. Let's go ahead and play this one again. We got another uh, donation to retry this deck with a couple of card changes. We're going to be playing a card like Mask Mother in here that should be pretty fun. I guess I should probably explain the deck a little bit. So it's going to be, it's just like the Thresh Nasus decks that are maybe the most popular decks right now in Legends of Runeterra. They see quite a bit. Um, basically, you just have like all of these small units that you don't mind if they die or not, but you also try to just get a lot of damage in with them. But basically, you just slay a bunch of stuff. Kill your own things, kill your opponent's things, just kill a bunch of stuff. Because you're just trying to grow Nasus. That's like the goal. Make Nasus as big as possible, while of course also killing your opponent. That's also another goal. And then whenever you have a very large Nasus, if you can strike with it for 10 plus damage, it levels up. And when it levels up, it gains that spell shield, which is pretty sweet. Because then that spell shield allows you to safe, safely atrocity and finish out your opponent with that. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're only playing Nasus though in this version, no Thresh. The reason why is because we're playing Rite of Calling that uh, will always draw Nasus. So we, you know, we won't have any Threshes in the way with that. All right, so it should be pretty good. I've been very, very impressed with these Shadow Isles Nasus decks before. We did well with the one we played before. Also, I. I I've just been really impressed with these decks. They, they look good. So I'm expecting this one to do pretty good. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. Hopefully get a 3-2 or better. Here we go. And looks like we got a mirror match. But our opponent's playing Thresh. Let's see. We'll keep the two units. Mulligan the two spells. Get him, Bailey. So definitely happy that we have the attack token on turn three with Blighted Caretaker. That's very good. No pass. It's a bad attack. The Reaper should always be last. Could have dealt another point of damage to me. There you are. All right, so Blighted Caretaker was still a two-for-one, kind of right, like a trade with the Vile Feast and that very powerful one-drop. Kind of. Look what good comes of mortal greed. I will find someone. I'm just going to pass. All right, they're passing as well. What is darkness to the unseen? Pride was my end, as it will be yours. There's no way to hide. So I should be using the Black Spear to be able to kill the uh, Thresh. I don't really know why to replace the 2-1 instead of replacing the 1-1. I mean, it's might as well just attack with the 2-1. I don't get any benefit for attacking with the 1-1. Yeah, I don't really know why I would have just... Yeah, I guess I played into Thresh's the box. You. That was a very bad play by me. Oh, 
Jeez. That was a bad play by me. Yeah, that looks like that cost me the game, but we'll see. It's not over yet. Rush did look great, though. Oh. I had a perfect one, two, three last time, too. Still lost to Thrush. Mirror match again. Do we have Ravenous Butcher? No, so our deck doesn't have Ravenous Butcher. Maybe playing Ravenous Butchery and Ride of Calling together doesn't work. There you are. The Emperor commands the land obeyed. Glimpse Beyond. They did a good job um, fighting through Caretaker, but we're ahead right now, even though the life total doesn't look, look like it. I don't know if I really even want Spirit Leech, but I don't think that I want just more Fading Icons. We can do that too. Alright, Curse Keeper goes well with the Ride of Calling, you know, or Doom Keeper. Be able to look for Nasus for next turn. The Doom Keeper in particular, though, because I can go Doom Keeper, Ride of Calling, and then also have double Black Spear. Michael. Hey, hey. 
Okay, we got 9 9 Nasus. Okay, so if I attack out, 4 3 could block 2 1, 4 1 block 4 3, they take 5, go to 5, and only one of their things die. So many cards in hand. Does it make sense just to slam Nasus? You could go Sand Spinner, you can go Curse Keeper plus Sand Spinner, and have Curse Keeper challenge the Spirit Leech. I guess I'm gonna do that. Curse Keeper Sand Spinner. No Look what good comes of mortal greed. This Thresh card, though. So I don't want more things to die to level up Thresh. Don't want it to be easy for things to die. So that did not work out very well for me. An open attack would have definitely been better. Alright, got a black spear out of their hand. It's always pretty good. Kind of can't by playing the Nasus here. Yeah, they kind of can't attack in with anything else though. Because they don't want to give my Nasus spell shield. Yeah, there's no right of negations in our list. Which there probably should be. They have to bluff Vengeance. It's not very likely they have Vengeance though, right? They at least have to bluff it. The Emperor commands the land obey. Yeah, I don't I don't really picture them having Vengeance either. Right, they play right of negation. How big is their Nasus going to be? We should really have right, right of negation. We should really have ride negation. No. Okay, we got Jarvan Chen. So yeah, I'm not I'm not changing like this is a viewer submitted donation deck. I'm not gonna change the, the deck list. 
in here. But uh, as we saw with those those two games, I really like that last game. I would I would not recommend ever not playing Ride of Negation. I think in this deck, I think Ride of Negation's a a must have. We played we played the same kind of deck. Um, yeah, I know they can kill that. Oh well. We played the same kind of deck. Uh, when was it? Actually, I won't block. Not too long ago, and we had two ride negations in that list, and I liked those ride negations quite a bit. He's like, those are just like my Blighted Caretaker targets. So I kind of don't want to trade. Even though it's risky. So make this a 5 3. It's risky because of Fleet Feather Tracker. Good play. Good play by them. Alright, so I really should have played Curse Keeper. Reaching Dragon. See, I was thinking it was going to be Shen. Yeah, this, this is just a... <laughs> kind of this whole video. Just like... I've had really good cards, and I just am getting destroyed because I'm making decisions that can pay off if my opponent does A, but they are doing B, and my decisions are really not paying off. So I was hoping they would play like Shen there, and then and then you know then go with Sand Spinner. I was definitely expecting barriers. I'm not exactly expecting that. So that's not so bad. What the worst thing is, of course, they get to draw two cards with the River Shaper, but... Oh, but then that thing kills that. Oh, never mind, that is pretty bad. Okay, not in a great spot right now, but we got Spirit Leech drawing some cards for us. Their dragon has Vulnerable. See what we see. So okay, there's Nasus. Yeah, I yes. Um, I'm I'm planning on probably like the twentieth to start to break away from donation decks and and rank up. Make sure that we get in the uh, seasonal tournament, and so play some decks that I'd use to practice for that. Press 
So Ness is at 10 10. So I imagine they have deny and they're, you know, maybe considering of like whether to use deny or to wait on deny. Okay, deny gone. The mortals know what awaits them. Few can know what death and eternity hold in store. Odd timing. If I do say so myself. There you are. I kind of think that that means that they have single combat in hand, and maybe they just didn't didn't really look at their mana, and they thought that they could play that in single combat. I think that's the most likely thing. Yeah, this is definitely single combat. I'll put them down to seven. And that should be game from there. Challenge this first for the slay. To look. There we go. All right, one and two. Ooh, some pirate burn. It's been a minute since we played pirate burn. Can be a very good deck. It's a little feast or famine. I guess I mulligan Nasus. It cost six. So fading icon on two because it blocks. Doom keeper on one for sure. Hello. Reporting in. Sand and blood. Speaking of things that block, rear guard is not one of them. Okay. So channel point predictions available. If you want to wager your channel points. Distance. Yeah, you did better there. Mm. Nah. That's the thing that... That's the thing that blocks my Curse Keeper very well. Alright, Mass Mother turned that into a 3-3. So they won't be able to open attack with misfortune. Things are just going to be a two-three. I mean, do I want to make it a make it what a six-five fearsome? So I'd rather have a two-three fearsome and a four-three, or a six-five fearsome. I guess a six-five fearsome sounds pretty scary. I don't know. Let's try it. Sounds pretty scary. Of course, playing the Mass Mother there to be able to turn on Black Spear. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. 
Very possible she'll just be taking the hit for six. The desert by my side. Okay, but I like I like trading with Gangplank. Gangplank's like their biggest thing. So I like that trade. Poor little prey just doesn't get into combat very often. Remember, you never saw me. We enter an age of men and gods. So we know that they have Noxian Fervor in hand from the Sprayfin, because Fervor is the only spell they play. So Fervor would do 4 damage to me to put me down to 9. Alright, cool. That's exactly what I wanted. Wanted to get Fervor out of their hand. So we're down to 10, so it's 9 to 10. I want this to take my priority. That sand spinner is really good. That will do. That will do. So I was gonna, like, my plan was, like, Sand Spinner, give this minus one, minus zero, so this couldn't block Fearsome, and so basically I was just, like, figuring out, okay, like, now that they got this Captain Fair, and, you know, how are we gonna get rid of that thing? You know, like, with having all these Fearsomes. Alright, we got some Scouts. We're playing a couple of cool throwback decks with Pirate Burn and Scouts for our last two. So Black Spear is really good here of killing Misfortune and even killing Quinn. But killing Misfortune is, is very important. I kind of want to keep both Black Spears, but... You know, we need to have the the rest of our deck. We need to be able to have units. If I'm forgotten, then... I must be known. So yeah, it looks like they're setting up um, Blinding Assault plus Misfortune. Fortune favors the bold. Time for violence. Hmm. Staying alive. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. I don't think they have repost. All to pieces. I'll be damned. Someone 
one of the good guys, but not that. Every wave is a path. Wow. That's pretty nice. That's in the lottery right there. Bless is motion. You yes, you do. Yeah, like this is just for me and a Quinn. <laughs> really all that card is. Four mana Quinn. Fresh out of mercy. Always forward. Humbled. Forgetting is death to an immortal. The Emperor commands. The land obey. The masks they wear tell their tale. So Mass Mother can get the keywords. Can, so Mass Mother can get Challenger. The Russians, the no, it doesn't get Ephemeral. Ephemeral's not a positive keyword. Yeah, Ephemeral's a debuff. A little different from a keyword. I mean, I guess that's game over, right? Like, do I... I mean, even, even if they just attack again, I can't... I can't stay alive. Um... No, I can't stay alive. I probably should have just not, not played that Mass Mother and just challenge... Couple of the two ones. Yeah, I can draw here, but I, there's nothing in my deck that I like, unless they play a unit right here. Like if they just attack, I lose. I gotta show you the sides of Bilgewater. The sides but I of still fun. lose. The smell, on the other hand, yeah. Kill misfortune. Still lose. All right, so for the deck moving forward, I mean, we still, you know, we did well with the deck. We went two and three, yes, but two of the losses were the mirror match. And so we went two and one against other decks. Um, I would, like like we talked about with the mirror match, I, I would definitely play Ride of Negation in this deck. I think that Ride of Negation is a must-have. Spirit Leeches felt pretty clunky. And honestly, Mass Mother really underperformed what I expected it to. But it, it did okay at spots, but I was expecting it to be better than what it was. But I think you, you got to play like two ride of negations in this kind of deck, and I I think that's that's definitely over one spirit leech. Um, it's the other card I'm not exactly sure about. Maybe you just play one. But even just having access to one, I'd rather have that over the the third spirit leech. All right, so there we go. So that's spooky Nasus. Um, to kind of show the other version that we played the other day. Um, let's take a, let's kind of compare that to like the other version that we played. We, we did better with the other version, but again, we didn't just play mirror matches, right? And we, we just played two mirror matches here. So the one we played the other day, we were playing Butchers to go along with Ride of Calling. So I wasn't, wasn't scared of that. We had Hapless Aristocrat as an extra thing to sacrifice. Um, I did have three Spirit Leech in that. Okay, but only two Sand Spinners. So that's, so that was like the part there. But yeah, three atrocity makes a lot of sense with this kind of deck with three Nessus. So I didn't have Mask Mother. So I was basically I was playing Butcher instead of Mask Mother, which does help mana wise. And then an extra hapless aristocrat for another thing to sacrifice. 
and then I didn't have so the card that I didn't have which was really a card that we didn't play like we never really played this card but the main card and so I could see I could definitely see getting rid of it the main card I didn't have was stalking shadows and we never really played stalking shadows in those games so I could I could certainly see not having stalking shadows and then get the spirit leech in there instead get the other atrocity back in there and then you know another another ride of negation or ravenous butcher or just another ride of negation because yeah we really didn't feel like we needed those stalking shadows so okay i like that i like that that's how you can get because you know like you get to the point like where you just you just want nasus atrocity and then you want ride negation to protect it i think that that's a just a real big part of the deck all right, so there we go. That's Spooky Nasus. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of like that other version I just set, showed, or this version. Like if you watched the video from a few days ago of us playing this deck, or uh, this version, let me know like what cards impressed you, what cards didn't impress you. You know, which ones like should we definitely be playing Ravenous Butcher? Um, you know, that was the card that my opponents that were playing. You know, uh, the Thresh version they had uh, Ravenous Butcher, we didn't. Is that something we got to have? What about Stalking Shadows? Is Stalking Shadows a necessity? Ride of Negation. You know, that kind of stuff. How would y'all like Mask Mother? You know, let me know over there on YouTube about those those different cards. I'd like to hear your opinion. All right, but that's all I got here for Spooky Nasus. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.